Today on the channel, we're turning invisible with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters crossover event of a lifetime with Donatello as the Invisible Man. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monster crossover figure in Donatello as the Invisible Man. But for all your NECA crossover figures and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items, and of course, anything over $59 does ship free. Gotta get the deal out there. And that's what I got here today, kind of, I guess. I walked into my local toy store. Bam, this was sitting on the pegs. I said, I do not have this yet. I'm going to pick this one up. So that's where I did find it, of course, in the future. Uh, probably any time now you'll be able to get this on Entertainment Earth as well. But supported the local toy store on this one here. But an interesting one. And finally, completing the turtles here. We got the four turtles now in this line. Of course, we also have Frankenstein's Bride as April O'Neil. And we got Van Helsing Splinter. We do know Casey Jones uh, is coming as the Phantom of the Opera. So I believe that'll be the next one after this. And and we'll see where the line goes from there. Are they over this line? Is it done? Is there more still to come? Can we get a creature for the Black Lagoon crossover? It'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. But this one, we're going to do it like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Beautiful artwork on these. They always are beautiful here. You got Donatello looking only like a Donatello could look as if he was the Invisible Man. How about that? There you go. Crossovers right there. Donatello in purple it looks really good, or I should say uh, the Invisible Man in purple. Donatello as the Invisible Man, ultimate action figure. Love the purple coloring, of course, Donatello being purple. It all kind of fits together here on the side of the box. Some nice stuff there. And then, of course, the big cross sell on this side. We've unboxed all these figures. Check a look at those videos. If you got time, if you got time, take a look. And then the back, I love these movie kind of posters here. Looks really cool. Let's read back what it says here. It says... You'll never see him coming. Makes sense. Donatello as the Invisible Man. Watch behind you. Madman or genius, you decide. Catch him if you can. Once the bandages are peeled, the mystery will be revealed. Look out. His secrets under wraps. I see what they did there. I see what they did there. And of course, this does open up. Nice, pretty promotional image here. Then the big window box like we get from NECA. Always looking good. Always looking the best there. Let's pull them out for the old plastic prison. See what all the fuss is about here. Gotta be honest, you guys know I am not the biggest Invisible Man guy. That is for sure. But we do got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to take this offline and get him out of the package. But he's looking good there. A lot of accessories as we're accustomed to with these packs. But let me pull him out of the package here. We'll be back talking all things Donatello as the Invisible Man. All right, we got the invisible Donatello out of the package, and let's start looking at this figure, but let's start with the accessories first. That's where we're going to go. We're going to start it off with the hands and talk about a plethora of hands, tons of hands in this set here. Now, invisible Donatello, he came to fight. He came to throw down. He's got two fists of fury on him here, but we get a bunch of extra gloved hands here, and you get two different gripping hands. So we get gripping hands right and left. That makes sense. We do get him flipping the old turtle bird. He only got three fingers. He's sticking up the middle one. Uh, he's telling everybody what he thinks of him, I guess. But this is uh, a little finger pointing one, so you can do stuff with that. And then we do get some maniacal hands. I really like this maniacal hand here. Uh, I haven't seen something like this with the glove on it. Looks really nice. This one, a, bit, a little bigger gripping hand. So it's a gripping hand, just a little bit more room to it. And then we do get a smaller gripping hand here. So we get a little different, a little bit of everything in the hand department there. I do like to see that. But we're not done in the extra head... <sighs> But we're not done in the extra hands and feet department. Yes, you heard it right, feet and hands. But we do get an extra set of hands that are clear, invisible hands. And first uh, thing that comes into my mind is I got to use these. I got to make him feel as invisible as possible. So I'm going to use these clear hands probably for him, two gripping hands, looking really nice. And then you do get invisible feet here, which is a really cool thing. So we get his left and right foot, obviously, but they're invisible. So I think you put the hands that on, I think that looks really, really good. And then you got uh, invisible hand, uh, feet down here with him on the figure already. However, they are wrapped up, so it's tougher to see the effect where this is just straight up clear, invisible, 
really do like the looks of these. Uh, very cool. Choose your own hand and feet adventure, I guess is what we'll do right there. We do get a little uh, microscope going on. Nice microscope. And as we talk about a lot of these NECA accessories and a lot of these different toy lines from NECA, this is a perfect one you can use. You can put this with Reed Richards and your Marvel Legends. You can put it with uh, your Otis figure with your WWE Elite. If he could be a scientist for a day. When he's done being a model, he could do this. Uh, you could put this with G.I. Joe. You could have them with uh, the Baroness and uh, Dr. Mindbender. They could be working on something together. So always love stuff like this. Really does look nice and could meld into any toy line you want it to. So I think that is really cool. Then you get the old uh, cup here with the little rod or a, or a straw, as I said, the Invisible Man uh, unboxing. A lot of people took me to task saying, that's not a straw, it's a rod. Okay, it's a rod, sure. Uh, the straw that stirs the drink. The rod that stirs the drink, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we do get that here looking nice and clear. Uh, so you do get this, and that's what that big hand can hold this if you want to. The Magical Invisible Elixir, as some might know it as. We get a book here. Once again, these books we've seen in the past, but this one says TGRI, which is a nice little Easter egg on the book here. Looks really nice. Of course, Invisible Man doing his uh, medical practices, things like that. He's got to have these books to study up if need be. Get a nice fedora going on here. Very cool. If the Invisible Man is trying to be, uh, you know, hiding off to the side, nothing says film noir like a, a fedora, that is for sure. But kind of on point with the uh, gimmick there, looking really nice, all in black. And once again, you could probably use this somewhere else if you want to, but a nice black fedora hat there. Then we, of course, get the bow staff, Donatello's iconic weapon. You have to have this with any Donatello figure. Really nice. Got the white wrapping, very dirty wrapping against it. Uh, you got the nice wooden stick, all pretty much on point, what we expect with Donatello. Then we get an extra head, so we get two heads with this one. Now, the head that comes on him, he's got the goggles there. He's got the total mummy wrappings. Uh, he's hidden. He's all ready to go. He's uh, got all the wrappings on him. Uh, basically, what you think of the Invisible Man when he's... Uh, not invisible. How about that? There you go. Then we get the second head, which is an interesting one, as it is the wrappings, but it's invisible inside. So you got the poofs of hair coming out a little bit, the fake hair, uh, but it's hollow inside like the Invisible Man. So it's like there's nobody home inside. Would have really liked to see them make a clear head, uh, maybe even instead of this head, a clear head like the feet and hands, have that put on there, and it'd be kind of cool to see that. But uh, I guess at the same time, he's truly invisible. You pop this head off, has no head. Man, he's the Invisible Man. Or take it one better, I got the Invisible Man figure. It's right here in my hand. I don't even have to buy anything. It's just here's my Invisible Man uh, figure. You could do that too if you wanted to. Uh, but two good heads here. I'm leaning towards the one that comes stock out of the package, uh, in all honesty. But I'll check them both. We'll have them in the glamour shots, as we usually do. It does look pretty good on both of those. Then you get down to old Donatello's Invisible Man himself. And it's interesting that all the other figures really felt like a Ninja Turtle. This one has, uh, you know, the feet of a Ninja Turtle, the head of a Ninja Turtle, obviously the shell of a Ninja Turtle, but the body feels more human-like, which is interesting when you're talking about these turtles. So it almost feels like a human figure cosplaying as a Ninja Turtle, if that makes sense at all. But that's kind of the first vibe I do get there. I love the purple undershirt here, very on brand for Donatello. Uh, then you do get the big trench coat going on. It's got some wear to it. Uh, it's an old trench coat, I guess you would say. He's hiding in the shadows, lurking in the shadows. Uh, but it does look really nice. You get the brown knee pads. You get the brown belt, the sash, the elbow pads, all in a nice brown leathery color where it wraps around the shell as well, looking really nice. And then you do get down to the feet, which we did talk about a little bit. He's got the wrapped feet, the clear feet going on there. Looks nice. Then you get the gloved hands, which we get tons of those if you want to use them or use the invisible hands, as we did talk about. Uh, but really cool one here for me, and one of the best things about this figure is the shell on the back. Obviously, you can't be a Ninja Turtle without a shell. Uh, Donatello has his shell, but I love the pizza slices inside the clear shell. I just think that is really cool. I don't know if you'd call it an Easter egg, but it's really funny. Kind of tongue-in-cheek with the turtles and their love for pizza, of course, having that back in there. I really do like that. And it looks like it is sculpted in. There's no removing this shell or anything like that. Uh, you do get the soft goods here or the soft string rope. I don't know what you technically call this on the back. So you could put Donatello's bow staff through there if you want to. Might have to work it out a little bit as it's very tight from what I'm seeing right here. Uh, but you may have some differences there. Uh, but all around an interesting looking figure. Uh, it'd be interesting if you could give this to somebody and say, okay, what is this figure? If they could figure out that it's a Universal Monster Turtle crossover. I don't know if your mind would go there right away. Uh, maybe it would. It depends what you know about them, I guess. But it's interesting. It's like I said, it feels very humanoid-like to me, at least from my first impressions here. But looking at the articulation, of course, head's going to be removable. Head goes all the way around, plenty of movement on the head. 
Uh, it looks like the neck is the primary movement on this one. So it's down low, so it gives us a little bit more movement than normal here on the head. The arms, of course, can go all the way around very tight. Uh, elbows side to side, back and forth, double jointed elbows, of course. Hands removable, back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation, a little bit of waist articulation there. You get a little bit of a crouch to him if you need to. Uh, you get his legs all the way up there. Splits, pretty much limited by his big duster coat, which makes sense. You do get the very tight knees. You got the knee bend, and then you get the ankles back and forth, side to side. Good ankle movement out of this one, and that's what you really need to get in some dynamic poses if you are so inclined. He's got holes in his feet. Is he going to fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel stands. He fits perfectly on there. So bam, there it is. Fits really good. But an interesting one. And I got to say, Donatello is not my favorite turtle. It's funny how on the old playground, I always talk about it, uh, Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, those were the top turtles for my whole friend group, everybody. Nobody liked Donatello the best. But now, all these years later, it seems like everybody likes Donatello and doesn't like the other ones. Me, at the end of the day, I'm still a party dude like Michelangelo, so I'm all in on Team Michelangelo. Got nothing against Donatello. just was never my favorite. Didn't like the scientist type. Didn't like the school work types. That's how kids are, or at least in my uh, circle back in the day. But it's interesting how much love there is for Donatello. But to me, uh, the Invisible Man, uh, my least favorite universal monster probably, uh, and then Donatello, my least favorite turtle. Uh, putting these together, it's not my uh, biggest cup of tea, but it's something I have to have in my collection for this crossover event. I really do like the ideas of these. And I think for what they did here, they did do a really good job. Just a few things I would have uh, turned around and maybe did differently, but nothing earth-shattering, nothing wrong with this. And I think this will sell fairly well out there at retail. Of course, got to get the Universal Man. Uh, the Universal Man, the Invisible Man from Universal. That, that, that works, sure. Uh, we've got the Invisible Man NECA figure. And much like this figure, not my favorite of the Universal Universal bunch there. It's going to be far behind Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Dracula, and the creature when he comes for me, and Bride of Frankenstein as well. But you got to have representation of the Invisible Man. He is a classic monster, if that's what you want to call him, uh, there. So we do got both Invisible Men right here. But I'm going to put him off to the side because might as well bring out the rest of the turtles. We got Michelangelo, of course, as the mummy. You got Raphael as Frankenstein. And then, of course, we got Leonardo as the Hunchback, which is an interesting one as well. So we got all four turtles finally out in this uh, subset crossover series, whatever we're going to call it officially. And it's really cool to get the four turtles. And I can see a lot of people saying, I just want the four turtles. I don't need April. I don't need Casey. I don't need Splinter. And there's people like me. I need all of them. Got to give me the whole lot. Uh, but a fun subline, and I love stuff like this. And the turtles are one of the key properties that are the key to crossovers. They've crossed over with Ghostbusters, wrestling, you name it, all kinds of stuff. Now Universal Monsters, which I think is really, really fun. And like I said earlier, it'll be interesting to see how deep this line ends up going. Will we get many more figures? Will they do another round of turtles as monsters? It'll be really interesting to see what we get in the future. And I'm here for it, and I'm sure you guys are as well. But let me know your thoughts on the Invisible Man. Let me know your thoughts on Invisible Donatello in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. we got even more content for you, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon channel. Your best way to support the channel and all the content. Plenty of bonus stuff over there for everybody. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the invisible Donatello, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.